To get started, press the locate button located at the bottom left of the screen. The blue globe icon represents your current location. Let's say you live in the LA area and want to do some shopping in Santa Monica. The main shopping area is called the 3rd Street Promenade. So type 3rd Street Promenade Santa Monica into the search bar. The destination that you're searching for will be located in the center of the screen with a green flag. And all of the parking facilities in the area will be outlined in blue. The point of interest marker shows you the relative price based on how many dollar signs it has. And these gray arrows show you the parking entrance points for each facility. You can also see how full parking facilities are at participating locations. Lots that are almost full are red, lots that are crowded are yellow, and lots that are not that full at all are green. You can also change the look of the map in settings. Change the type to hybrid or satellite to see the map in satellite mode, or just stick to the current look with road. This lot is close to the shopping area, so I'm going to click on it to learn more about it. The blue arrow will take you to another screen which will show you how full the lot is, how much it costs to park there, hours of operation, and even the lot's phone number. You can also see what other parking options are close by. It looks like structure 2 is the same price as the current lot, but it's only 89% full. I'm going to look at some other nearby parking and it looks like this lot, structure 3, is only 82% full. I've decided to park here so I'm just going to click the directions button to get a mapped out route from my current location to the actual garage. Maybe you need to escape from LA for a weekend and decide to go to San Francisco to see the symphony. All you have to do is type in San Francisco Symphony and the app will show you where that's located. Again, your destination is marked by the green flag in the center of the screen. Since I'm coming from out of town and I already have tickets to the symphony, I've decided to reserve a spot because it looks like there's a couple lots in the area that let you do that. To reserve a spot, all you have to do is look for the green reserve icon on garages. Click on the lot for more information and then click on the reserve button. Since the symphony starts at 8 o'clock, I'm going to enter the date and time that I'll be parking and our reservation affiliates will handle the rest. The PIM app also has a feature that lets you search for parking by airport. All you have to do is click on the airport icon at the bottom of the screen, scroll down on the list to pick which airport you're flying out of. Let's pretend that you're going to be flying out of LaGuardia Airport in New York City. It looks like there's many different parking options there. You can click around between lots and compare prices to find the perfect lot. If you prefer to reserve a lot in advance, again just look for the green reserve icon. Let's say you end up parking at one of the facilities shown on our app, but some of the information is different. To update this info, click on the lot then click on the update this info button, choose a category, and write down in the notes section what exactly is different. You can also send us a picture of this lot if you just click on the take a photo button. Take a picture, confirm that's correct, and it will automatically send us the photo. If you need any more info or help with this app, just click on the about button located in the bottom right of the screen. You can also check out our page in the app store or go to our website at www.parkinginmotion.com Well, I've walked you through the basics of the PIM app. We are always working to improve the app, so stay tuned for more features. The last feature I'm going to show you is probably the best. It's our robust coverage. We have parking information for the entire U.S. and Europe. Download the free PIM app today and make parking easier for the rest of your life.